Welcome to Sex Education. In this video, we will talk about chlamydia, which is one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases, or STDs. We will discuss the types of diseases this infection causes and the symptoms that come with them. For more information on how to lower the chance of getting chlamydia, check for it and treat it, see our chlamydia and gonorrhea prevention, diagnosis, and treatment video. Chlamydia is an infection caused by the bacteria Chlamydia trachomatis. This bacteria is spread from one person to another during vaginal, oral, or anal sex. After it is spread, it can then infect different parts of the body, including the cervix, which is the entrance to the uterus, the urethra, which is a tube in the penis or next to the vagina where urine comes out of, the rectum, which is the last part of the large intestine above the anus, and the throat. If chlamydia is not treated, it can then spread to other parts of the body as well and create bigger problems. In people with a cervix, it can spread from the cervix through the uterus and into the fallopian tubes, which are small tubes that connect ovaries, where eggs are made, to the uterus. This causes something called pelvic inflammatory disease, or PID. Even after PID is treated, scars from the infection can develop in these little tubes. These scars can make it hard to get pregnant in the future. For more information about PID, please see our pelvic inflammatory disease video. In those who are already pregnant, Chlamydia infection can cause labor to happen early, which means a baby may be born before it was supposed to. In addition, if a baby is born when the infection is still present, the infection can spread to the baby's eyes or lungs and make them sick. Chlamydia from the penis can also spread upward to something called the epididymis, which is a collection of tubes in the scrotum through which sperm travel, and the prostate which is a part of the body that helps make semen. Chlamydia can also infect the throat. It can also cause scars to form around the liver, which may lead to pain. Some strains of chlamydia can infect a part of the body that fights infections, known as lymph nodes, and lead to a disease with a very long name, lymphogranuloma venereum. Meanwhile, in other people, Chlamydia can lead to future problems with joints such as knees or ankles. This is called reactive arthritis. Even though chlamydia infection can cause so many problems, most people who get it don't have any symptoms at all and don't know that they have it. Even if they do have symptoms, they are usually not obvious. Some of these symptoms are discharge from the vagina or penis, burning when urinating, and discharge, pain, or bleeding from the rectum. If PID happens, symptoms can be fever, feeling sick, abdominal pain or pain in the lower part of the abdomen, and pain during sex. If the infection spreads to the epididymis and prostate, it can cause testicle pain or swelling and pain in the pelvis or abdomen. Lymphogranuloma venereum usually starts as an ulcer or a type of rash in the genitals. This usually does not hurt. A few weeks later, swelling in the lymph nodes of the groin can form. Symptoms of reactive arthritis include red eyes, pain with urination, and joint pain. Because chlamydia infection can be so hard to recognize, it's very important to protect yourself against it and treat it early when and if it does happen. For more information about this, see our follow-up video called Chlamydia and Gonorrhea Prevention, Diagnosis, and Treatment. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notifications about our latest videos.